In this video, I will be showing structured routine that can be used with students with PDD and OS in a classroom. So what is structured routine? Well, structured routine is basically creating a schedule for the students to follow, and this allows for change to be expected and you will not see any retaliation or resistance to change in the classroom if you're following the structured routine. So in the way I'm gonna teach this, I'm gonna act as if I'm the first few days with the students and I'm gonna be creating a schedule for the students to follow. So when making a classroom schedule, you wanna start off on the first few weeks of class or the first few days. So this allows students to get used to the schedule as soon as possible. So what making a schedule could look like is having your chalkboard or whiteboard at the front of your room and creating a schedule that takes the student through the whole day. When you are making your schedule, you should use time increments that students can follow, and this could be done with either having a digital clock for students to use or an analog clock that they can look at on the wall. So if we see right here, we have first the students will arrive, and then at 8 o'clock we will do our morning meetings. So at 8 o'clock, students will know that they will have to go to the rug for their morning meeting. And that should take around 30 minutes. So from the next thing on your schedule, you have to put 8, 30. And then you can add whatever next you have in your class. And the great thing about this evidence-based strategy is that it is very changeable. It can work for any classroom, whether it's a math class, science class, or a classroom that teaches all subjects. So this strategy could be used in multiple grades. Here you can see my example of a fully created schedule or a routine that students can follow in a classroom. Obviously, you would spend more time than just this because this is more than likely not what a real class would include in their schedule, but this is just my example. And when you're going over the schedule that you have created for your classroom with your students, like I said, you want to do this within the first few days, the first few weeks of class, so students can get into the routine of doing this schedule. And then on the first few days, like I said, you just want to go over it, explain to them what each thing is going to be and what is expected at these times and what they can do to be prepared for the next part of the schedule.